Welcome back to the series where I check out the world's weirdest guitars. Today I have something extra special for you. This guitar right here, which I think is the most beautiful guitar that I've ever seen. It's a one of a kind, custom made fretless baritone by the Polish guitar company Strati. About three years ago, YouTube recommended me a bunch of videos by a guitarist named Sean Angus Watson, who was playing something unlike anything I'd ever seen, a fretless baritone. It sounded so cool, I knew that I needed to get my hands on one. Unfortunately, no guitar company manufactures them. And as if the social media algorithmic gods were in cahoots, around this time, I was also recommended Strati Guitar's Instagram page, and I instantly fell in love with their instruments. So I eventually reached out to the luthier and company owner about making me a fretless baritone. He told me that his wait list was quite long, but if I was willing to be patient, he'd get this done for me. And finally, a year and a half later, I've got my hands on this instrument, it is truly one of the coolest and most incredible guitars that I've ever played. I think it makes sense if I just played a bit more for you and show it off in all its glory. Alright, let's talk about what qualifies this as one of the world's weirdest guitars. First of all, it's a baritone. A normal guitar tuned in standard tuning would of course be E, A, D, G, B, E. Now if we had a bass guitar, that would be tuned E, A, D, G, an octave lower. Well, a baritone guitar, like this one, is about halfway between a standard guitar and a bass. It's the same relative spacing between the strings, but it's tuned B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. And the next big standout factor with this guitar is the fretlessness, which poses an interesting challenge. Having had this guitar for a bit now, I can tell you that frets make playing a stringed instrument significantly easier. Frets are like a set of stairs. You go up, you go down, and assuming you're actually standing on the step, then you hit the note. The frets create that sharp distinction. Removing the frets gives us more of a playground slide. It's a smooth slope up and down. There are no set values. Everything is in play, so we need to use our ear as well as the markings to figure out where to put our fingers. Removing all the frets gives this guitar its unique sound. Of course, tuning will always be a challenge, but being able to smoothly slide between notes opens up a lot of options. For example, check out this lick on the fretless. And now I'm gonna grab my fretted baritone to show you how this lick would sound on that guitar. See, I've always loved the sound of a fretless bass, which are actually fairly common. So years ago, a friend and I ripped out the frets on his Squire Stratocaster, but we found that with the range of the standard guitar, it just lacked that oomph of a fretless bass. So the next closest thing we can get as guitar players is a baritone. And of course, one of the biggest eye-catching things with this guitar is the stunning chambered body. In fact, it was recently featured at the NAMM convention, and I don't think I would be exaggerating if I said that it stole the spotlight in the boutique guitar showroom. It's funny, I saw countless pictures of this guitar posted on Instagram before I even had a chance to see it myself. The body is made of Wenge African hardwood, the carved top is made of Pau Ferro, and the neck is ebony. Everything sourced sustainably. Strati makes a number of bases in this style, but this would be the first baritone that they've ever done like this. And besides that, there are a number of other cool secondary features. Like check this out, the fret sidelines ever so slightly glow in the dark. The fretboard markers are pure silver and the pickups are custom made with four coils in them stacked on top of each other. So when you split the pickup into single coil mode, you still get the noise canceling benefits of a humbucker. As well, there's a piezo that can be blended in and out for those acoustic sounds. Those would be the main features of this guitar. And since it's such a unique instrument, I think it would be fun to perform some fretless baritone experiments. Experiment number one, what happens if we turn on some fuzz and play some blues licks? It 
has some of the same characteristics as playing with a slide, but really it's its own thing. And I quite like that thing. Experiment number two, how hard is playing chords with this? Turns out that playing chords is extremely hard. Dealing with the intonation for one note in itself is a challenge when you're trying to get multiple notes in tune on this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna need to work on that a fair bit, but it definitely creates a cool vibe. Experiment number three, what happens if I use an ebow with it? An ebow vibrates a string using like magnets or magic or something so that it sustains indefinitely. This should be interesting. I feel like that was in fact interesting. And let's do one more experiment. Number four, what does fretless baritone funk sound like? The first video I saw of Sean Angus Watson was him doing fretless berry funk and that caught my attention immediately. And now that I can do it myself, I can confirm that it certainly is its own thing, and that thing is surprisingly fun. And that brings us to the part in the video where I will give this guitar my review. And it's kind of weird reviewing this guitar because it was custom made for me and I picked out a number of the features, but Mark at Stratty took my vision, brought it to life, and then some. It's everything that I hoped it would be and more. It's the most beautiful guitar that I own. It's as much a piece of art as it is a world-class instrument. Strati is a small husband and wife team who specialize in these artisan instruments. They have a number of basses and guitars and a variety of styles, and I definitely recommend checking out their website and social medias, if nothing else, than to just marvel at the beauty of their instruments. I'll put up some links in the description. Now this guitar very much feels like it's its own instrument that I will absolutely need to practice more before I feel comfortable on. It's hard. It's somewhat frustrating at times because things that would be quite easy on a fretted guitar are so much harder on this, but at the same time, I'm excited about that challenge. It's incredibly fun and the sounds that you can get on it are unlike anything else. It has easily become one of the top handful of my mini guitars that I would first save if my house caught on fire, which I sincerely hope doesn't happen. Anyways, I'm gonna play it out with an overdub loop thing that I think best encapsulates what this guitar is capable of. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, another installment in the world's weirdest guitar series. If you ever come across any strange, beautiful, and wonderful six strings in your social media travels, please tag me in it. I'm always looking for new guitars to feature in this series. Thank you all for watching. If you wanna get caught up in this series, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of music-related content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Sam Wright, guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.